Hello, I'm Miss Barry, and I teach math here at Oak Grove Upper Elementary. And today I wanted to show you a few examples on how to decompose a fraction. Um, decompose means that you are going to break it apart. You're going to um, show it in another way that uses more fractions than the one that you start with. So we're just going to start with the fraction 3 eighths and decompose it. Um, one of the basic ways to do this is to use unit fractions and unit fractions are fractions that have one as a numerator. So if I were going to write 3 eighths using unit fractions, it would just be 1 eighth plus 1 eighth plus 1 eighth. Your numerators are added to equal three. The denominator stays the same. So what I've done is broken this three apart. I've decomposed it and this way uses unit fractions. Now there's more than one way to decompose a fraction. I could have chosen to break that apart with two eighths plus one eighth and still have three eighths. Another example would be to decompose the fraction four fifths. One way to do that is to have one fifth plus three fifths. One plus three is four. Or you could have two fifths plus one fifth plus one fifth. Or another way, you could use unit fractions. One fifth, one fifth, one fifth, plus another one fifth. So each of these shows four fifths different ways. Another example might be to decompose nine tenths. You could pull um, four tenths out of that to begin with, plus two tenths, plus four plus two is six, so we need to do a little bit more, three tenths. You could have used unit fractions on this one. So there's more than one way to do most fractions. Let's look at a mixed number a mixed number is a whole number and a fraction that are put together. And we could look at the example two and three fourths. Well, I could break that apart with one whole plus one whole plus three fourths. So here's my whole number, two, and then three fourths, or a different way to write that whole number. I could even use fractions to do that. So I could have four fourths plus four fourths. So this is one whole, this is one whole to take care of my whole number in my fraction plus three fourths or I might even try to decompose my whole number using eight fourths. Eight fourths is equivalent to two plus the fraction part of my mixed number three fourths. So these are just several examples that would hopefully help you review things at home with your child. Um, we could look at one more, um, an improper fraction. Let's say we have the improper fraction seven thirds. And remember, an improper fraction is a fraction that has a greater numerator than denominator. So it's more than one whole. So we could decompose seven thirds by using three thirds. That's one whole plus another three thirds. That's two so far, plus one-third. Or you could decompose it using your unit fractions and have one-third repeated until it equaled seven-thirds. 
that might look like this. It's a little time consuming, but it would still be correct. Let's make sure I have all <laughs> the fractions that I need to equal 7 thirds. So we would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we don't want a plus sign to be a numerator. So I hope this is helpful to you in helping your fourth grader understand decomposing fractions, breaking fractions apart in different ways than it was given to you.